So three of the most common problems that face modern security operation centers are alert fatigue, event management, and alert tuning. So today we're going to talk about how TBC's automation framework not only solves these three problems, but how it also equates to catching more attacks. As I'm sure you're aware, for every alert that fires out of your SIM, a security analyst has to go and triage that. Now what does triage mean? Well, generally that means I'm going to reference some playbook and do what the playbook tells me. Maybe for this given alert, uh, the playbook says I have to go and download a packet capture, check if this host is vulnerable to something, and go and look up the who is information for this public IP. Well, that still doesn't sound too bad until you realize that to download the packet capture, maybe I have to get off this VPN, go get on another VPN, SSH into a host, search for the PCAP file, get a copy of that, then I have to log into domain tools to do the who is lookup, like <laughs> All of that for just one alert. And your SOC is gonna face hundreds, maybe even thousands of these every single day. So it's no wonder why there's such high turnover in the security analyst field. So the way to solve this problem is to automate the triage of the alerts. So TBC, we built our own automation framework and we basically wrote functions for those individual steps in a playbook. Maybe that is downloading the packet capture or checking virus total or asking ServiceNow for asset information. And we piece these together into playbooks so the first time that an analyst has to actually look at an alert, it already contains all that contextualized information. Their work has basically been done for them. SIMs operate in real time. What that means is that they have no way of knowing if a new alert that just has fired matches exactly an alert that fired five minutes ago. It could be the same source IP, same destination IP, same alert name. They have no way of knowing if they're the same though. What this means is that analysts have to spend their precious time going through and finding out which all of these alerts are really part of the same problem and then closing them out one by one. It's a huge inefficiency. To solve this alert redundancy problem, TBC coded event management into our automation framework. How this works is every time a new alert fires, we go and check to see if an, a matching alert already exists, if there's already an incident open for it. And if there is, then we simply add that alert to that existing incident, not opening up a new one. If there is no matching incident, then we go ahead and open up a new incident. Security systems are known for being extremely verbose and noisy. This is because they have little to no context about your environment. So alert tuning's job is to go through and weed out all these false positives. Maybe these are alerts that just shouldn't have fired at all, or they're alerts that you don't care to see because they don't apply to your environment. This is a complex task that is generally reserved to the job of a senior security engineer. TBC's automation framework makes the job of alert tuning much easier. And the way that it does this is by housing all of the information needed for alert tuning all in one place. We have the original alert information. We have the contextual information done by the triage of the alert. We have the information around closure information from the system of record we use ServiceNow. All this is in one place and it makes the tuning out of alerts much simpler. If you can solve just one of the three problems that we talked about today, you should see a dramatic improvement in your security coverage and your ability to catch attacks. But if you're interested in solving all three of these at the same time, please reach out to us at TBC and we can talk about our security monitoring offering, which leverages our automation framework. Thank you.